Hey guys, Dortmund Planet is back and we're better than ever. And today we're talking about getting two Dortmunds at one time, maybe even two eight week old puppies. You know, that'd be double the cuteness, if you double the fun. And hey, maybe as they get older, they can even exercise each other and tire each other out. Sounds great, right? Whoa, 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 okay, hold on, hold the phone. Do people still say hold the phone anymore? Uh, I don't know, anyway, just stop. It does sound great, I'll admit it, but did you know that there is something called littermate syndrome that can make your life absolutely miserable in this scenario? And this affects Dobermans significantly. And this is something you need to know about. Okay, although littermate syndrome isn't really like a diagnosable condition in dogs, this is a term that's commonly used by trainers who see this issue all the time in dogs of the same age or even from the same litter who are raised together in the same household and bond stronger to each other than they do to their owners. Now we know how emotionally intelligent Dobermans are and just how much smarts they have going on upstairs. And they definitely have that propensity to bond with us humans as their owners. But did you know they can bond just as strongly to each other, especially if they're of the same age and they're raised in the same household. Now, how serious is this littermate syndrome? Well, here are just some of the most common behavioral effects that can result of it. First is a fear of unfamiliar people, dogs, or noises, which really is just linked to general issues with socialization overall. Increased aggression towards other dogs, a separation anxiety when they're away from each other, even when they're away from each other for just a very short time. Uh, lack of confidence when they're alone, lack of bonding with their owners, a general shyness overall, which can actually result in fear biting, which can be very scary, uh, not eating when they're alone or separated, inability to be trained effectively, and this is mostly because they're focused a lot on their other half, and just serious fights between the two dogs, which this one is uh, very common, especially if these two dogs are of the same sex. Okay, these are some pretty serious behavioral effects, but how common is littermate syndrome? I mean, is it something we really need to worry about at all? Well, on my channel, Doberman Planet, here on YouTube, I asked my audience who had two Dobermans of about the same age, I asked them a question, a poll. I asked them, which of the following symptoms of littermate syndrome have you experienced the most? And I gave a list of some of the most common symptoms. And out of the 198 people who responded, separation anxiety when the two dogs are away from each other was the most common issue. And that affected 44% of these owners, followed by serious fights between the dogs, then fear of unfamiliar people, dogs, or sounds. In fact, littermate syndrome is so common that most trainers nowadays will never recommend that their clients get two dogs of the same age at the same time. If not for the littermate syndrome issues, but because you're gonna have divided attention while you raise these two dogs. And from a breed uh, who really needs a lot of interaction and guidance, from their owners like a Doberman, this almost inevitably leads to at least one dog, if not both dogs, really falling short with their development uh, because of the divided attention during those important months early on in their lives. In fact, I believe just about every guide dog organization out there does not allow their host families to raise two puppies at the same time because of this issue. Now, a host family is a, a family that raises a young dog to be exceptionally highly trained and well-behaved for work as a service dog down the road for some of these guide dog organizations. Even these experienced trainers, highly experienced trainers, aren't allowed to take on two dogs at the same time. In fact, one study done in the 1960s, and I'll link to it in the description down below, showed that when two guide dog potentials were raised together in the same household, it always caused one of the puppies to become temperamentally unsuitable for work, even when both puppies started out as perfect candidates. And usually this is because one of them would become shy and withdrawn while the other one kind of just became bolder. Um, but a lot of times even that bolder one would only become bolder when they're with their shy litter mate. Otherwise, they'd start having problems and become fearful and shy too. So we don't know exactly how common this is, 
in terms of exact numbers, but we know this is a major issue in the dog training world in general. So how can you avoid littermate syndrome? Well, one of the first things you can do is definitely make sure that when you're getting two Dobermans, there's at least six months of age difference between them, but preferably two years or more. This will ensure that they each have their own individual bonds with you, their owner, and they develop their own sense of self-confidence. Oh, and as long as you're getting two Dobermans, maybe you should consider getting two Dobermans of the opposite sex. Not that they won't work if they're both the same sex, but it could just save you a lot of headaches down the road. You can thank me later. Okay, so dog trainers definitely generally say not to get two Dobermans of the same age at the same time. And even dog guide school organizations won't let their pro trainers get and raise two puppies at the same time. Uh, but okay, let's say that, oops, too late. You already fell in love with these puppies. You brought them home. You surprised the wife. Too late. What are, you, what are you gonna do now? How can you make sure that you are not gonna have dogs suffering from this? Well, there are some things you can do. First of all, you can have individual training sessions, both command training sessions and leash training, going out for walks. Ha do those individually to help build their confidence separately. Um, individual play time is another important thing to do with these two dogs. Um, individual socialization time. This is very important, especially between the ages of eight to 16 weeks of age. It'll help ensure that they have their own confidence separate from each other. Uh, also feed them separately as well. Um, this is also probably just a good habit to have for a lifelong thing with the two dogs because most bad fights happen around feeding time. Uh, separate beds and crates, don't let them share the same beds, and also just really work on building individual bonds with them in general. Um, a lot of this stuff, having these separate training times are very important to build your bond with your dogs individually to make sure that's the strongest bond in their lives, not their bond to each other. Just remember these two dogs are individuals and whatever you can do to raise them that way and build individual bonds and individual confidence for them, the better off you'll be. Sounds like a lot of work, right? Double the time, double the effort. It is. And that's why a lot of dog trainers really recommend against getting litter mates or two Dobermans of the same age. Guys, I love Dobermans, as you can probably tell. And if there's one thing I understand, it's other people that are crazy about Dobermans like me. So you'll never be judged for your love of this breed here on this channel. And uh, so, hey, why not join Doberman Planet? Hit the subscribe button down below and the little bell icon next to it so you don't miss any of our videos. And, you know, become one of us, a place where we don't think you're weird. Thanks for hanging out with me, guys. See you next time.